Welcome back everybody. Today we're talking about the 48 volt Eagle. In this video, we're gonna talk about the specs of the battery and how to connect it up using a bus bar when you buy two or more of these batteries and you're gonna uh, replace it in your golf carts. Now, the 48 volt Eagle was designed to be able to replace traditional lead acid batteries. We did this by being able to make this battery have a capacity of 30 amp hours or 1.5 kilowatt hour. So this, is, this battery alone probably won't be enough to power up a golf cart, but that's why we always sell these batteries in kits. So I'm gonna show you what it's gonna look like with two kits, uh, plugging it all up together. And again, we do have these in three and four X kits, depending on how much range and power you wanna get. Now, right out of the box for one battery, you can see the battery here has a voltmeter on the front. It's very light and it has the ropes to be able to easily move it around and carry it. On the back, it's got the Anderson connector. And when you buy this battery, you're going to you're going to get the Anderson cable included along with some brackets that you might or might not need, depending on your golf cart setup. A couple more important specs about this battery is that it does have a max continuous discharge current of 80 amps, max continuous power of 4000 watts and a max discharge peak current of 160 amps at five seconds. So now you have the basic overview of the battery. So what I'm gonna show you now is what's included when you get a 2X kit and how to wire it all up using the bus bar. So on a 2X kit, you're gonna get the same stuff. You're gonna get another Anderson cable and brackets. You're gonna get another battery. So when it comes to the 2X kit, you're gonna get two batteries. That's gonna include two Anderson cables, brackets, and you're gonna get an additional Anderson cable you're gonna get wiring for your capacity meter. You're gonna get some screws and a bus bar. And this bus bar is gonna be what you're, what you're gonna use to be able to wire up these two together to be able to get the most efficiency out of these. On top of that, you're also gonna get your 48 volt charger. So this is gonna all come included with the 2X kits 3X kit or 4X kit. When it comes to the charger on its own, it's super simple. So you're just gonna take the Anderson cable and you're just gonna connect it right on the back end of this. And then for the charger, you're just gonna plug it into any outlet, right? This is gonna be the easiest way to be able to charge these things. First, we're gonna wanna wire up our batteries to our bus bar here. It's important to note that when you wire these up, that the voltages don't differ than more than one voltage from each other. So you don't want to have this too low and you don't want to have this too high, right? If they're one voltage from each other, it's perfectly fine. But you don't want, want it more than that. So we already have these labeled for you, right? So we got the negative side and the positive side. So you can take off this little protector on top of it. And then your cable, the ones that come included with the battery, you're going to want to wire it up the exact same way, right? So the blacks for negative, the red is for positive. So we're gonna go negative first, screw this back into place. We got one negative, and then we'll do one positive. All right, so that's one battery connected to the bus bar. We'll take our second set of cables and do the exact same thing. So we're gonna go negative with the negative side, and then we'll do positive on the positive side. You're going to also want to connect your capacity meter. So to be able to do that, you're also going to wire this up to the bus bar here. So on one end, you have the little white connector that's going to go on the back of the capacity meter, just like that. And then you'll do the same thing. So you got the negative side and the positive side, and you'll wire it up the exact same way. So I'll go negative on this side, and then we'll connect the positive side here. And this cable should be long enough to reach your golf cart's dashboard. So once it's all plugged in and ready to go and the batteries are on, you're going to see, be able to see your capacity on this meter here. That's how you're going to be able to track how much power you still got going on on here. The way you're going to get this connected to your golf cart is you're going to use the additional Anderson connector. And you're going to wire those to the end of the terminals here. Now we're going to go negative again on the ends here, on the terminal ends here. Then we'll take the positive side and stick it onto the positive header. This positive terminal, this one. Just like that. 
We got the bus bar here. We have our positives all on the positive side from each battery and your Anderson cable and your capacity meter. And then we have on the negative side, same thing. The capacity meter is connected, each battery, and then the wire that's gonna go to the Anderson cable that's gonna go to your golf cart. We'll be able to plug our cables into our batteries. So you'll take the, end, uh, the Anderson cables of each end, plug them into each battery, and then we'll take the other one, plug this in here, and then the other end, again, this is gonna be the one that's gonna connect to your golf cart, right? So this will just wire back up to your golf cart. So then we could turn on the breakers here. You can see now the batteries are on, but that's how you wire up a 2X kit. Now, if you were gonna use three or four batteries, you're still gonna use the same bus bar. You're gonna get uh, extra, you're gonna always get the extra Anderson cable, and you're just gonna continuously wire up the negatives and the positives to the bus bar here. And remember that the 48 volt Eagle can wire up to eight batteries in parallel, but you probably won't need more than four for any golf cart. We'll show you how to wire this up to a golf cart next. But you can see here that our golf cart already has two Anderson cables connected. If your golf cart is uh, wired up in the same situation, then you wouldn't need the bus bar to wire up your batteries. You just sit each battery inside and plug this into the Anderson connector on each end. But we did want to show you how to connect the bus bar. So I'm going to actually unwire these. So if you don't have the Anderson connector coming out of your golf cart to connect the extra wire here, you'll just unwire the cable. And we just have the positive and negative terminals in our golf cart. So we're gonna be able to wire those up to our positive and negative on the bus bar here. And then we still have the other end still connected because this is what's gonna go straight into our battery. So we're gonna start with the positive end. You'll go from the end terminal here. So I'm gonna grab the, this is my positive terminal here. So I'll be able to connect that to this side. Okay, so I got my positive terminal on the positive side along with the other positive for the Anderson cables that will go to the batteries and my capacity meter. Then I'll take the negative and we'll go to the other terminal port. Okay, so now I have my bus bar all wired up. I'm gonna place this in the middle here. My first battery here. We're just gonna drop it into place. And it is turned off currently. The battery's uh, breaker here is turned off. So you're gonna plug the other end. To the battery. And then we're gonna take our second battery, drop it in the other side. Grab my other Anderson cable, plug that in. So now we have both batteries plugged into our golf cart with our bus bar and our capacity meter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn on these batteries. See the blue light come on? And my capacity meter is here. You're gonna wanna mount this somewhere, whether it's here on the front, anywhere you want. We're gonna leave ours inside for now. But this should be all wired up and working, so let's go ahead and try it. So now we got a working golf cart. Each battery has about 1.5 kilowatt hour capacity. So with two of them, it's about three kilowatt hours. Remember, you could get more power if you just get more of these combined. You could easily fit inside one of these small golf carts four batteries. If you have bigger golf carts, you can probably do more. They all just wire up to the bus bar. Super simple, simple to do. You're gonna be able to get more range and more power than a traditional lead acid battery. So that's how you install 48 volt Eagles inside a golf cart.